I remember you mentioning there was a period of time, I think you had two contests and you said you got really lean and you, I don't think you tried to say contest lean, but you, start, you were trying to say quite lean. And you said that you felt pretty good as the calories came up for a while. But then the longer you tried to stay lean like that, you felt worse again. Am I remembering that correctly? Yeah. So you were, we're actually kind of picking up on the story of, of, so I did that period in May. I got into stage condition. <clears throat> and then, like I said, my average was down around, geez, I think it, I think when you actually look at my average, in that last, it was 1,600 calories if you look at my, my refeeds. So there was periods where it was 1,400 for a week just because we pushed the refeeds back. It's like delayed refeed. But if we look at my standard quote-unquote setup during that period, it was low days and high days for an average of 16. Just real quick, what was it was a refeed like once a week at low, low like maintenance or? Normally, they were uh, two to three times per week. And then during that period, um, they were Birdo instituted. They were uh, on, on a basically when I think you've made a lot of progress and you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're looking a little beat up, too beat up, and training's not, not good or sleep's negatively affected, we'll throw one in. Yeah. Um, so they were kind of like these auto regulated pit stops during that, that, uh, that period of cutting. Um, so, anyway, once we hit a certain level of leanness that we, we wanted to achieve, uh, that was in early June or late May. Um, then calories just started coming up. They came up to an average of 1,900, <clears throat> then 21, and then 23, and then they just kept going up until I was basically hanging out at all times. I didn't have refeeds anymore. I was just between 25 and right. 2,800 calories on average. Um, I competed in a show the first weekend in July, the third weekend in July, and then the second weekend in August. And by the one in August, I had been... Um, that maintenance for, basically I'd, I'd done a reverse diet for nine weeks, if you will. So the, the cool thing was about my prep is that I had experienced the, the traditional conservative reverse diet, like you had 100 yeah. calories a week for nine weeks, um, and saw myself just getting leaner and leaner and leaner, or awesome. appearing that way. Um, yeah. I looked my best probably in late July, because we had a bit of a, uh, I, I don't know, yeah, I, I guess I'm trying to think my body just started not cooperating, like mm. in right around the first week of August. Like I started, uh, like when I, on, on the day of the show, I had a very conservative carb load because again, I was walking around 2,500, 2,800 calories and like I got like a little bloaty and ankle edema and my quads started blurring and I was like, that's kind of weird. Like mm. I've always had is like a few sushi rolls, you know? Yeah. Um, but I had, you know, I flew the week before. I was traveling all over the world. I, I presented in, in Melbourne. Uh, the UK, um, and I was in California for three weeks for those shows, all within a couple month period. So I didn't go more than three weeks after I started bringing calories up without traveling all, across like five times. <laughs> so wow. um, I was doing that, and I was, I was, you know, I had a lot going on. We had, uh, I was basically living my life as though I was not competing, which I'm really proud that I could do that. Yeah. But I think. The, the, the toll happens somewhere, you know, when you're shredded and only sleep four hours before you pop up and have to find a way to fall back asleep and stuff yeah. like that. So, yeah. Um, so, obviously, the worst I felt for the whole diet was during the, that period of being on, like, 1,600 calories. That was just brutal, you know, because I was basically, I'd already done a show. I competed in April, and then May, I went from um, lined in my glutes to, like, fully striated glutes mm -hmm. in May. So, I was already lean and then decided, let's eat nothing. Um, so being shredded and on low calories is, is the worst combination. Um, either one of the others by themselves is not too bad. You know, if you have a fair amount of body fat, you just don't feel too shitty. Yeah. Or if you're shredded, but you're eating a lot, you don't feel too shitty, which is basically what your question was. So, um, the comparison of being on 1600 to 1900, 21, 23, 24, 25 calories, like it, I was feeling better and better and better compared to that low point. Right. But if we compared me to some point in, let's say, early April before my first show where I wasn't that much less lean, but there is certainly like this tipping point when you go from maybe what the Internet would call 7 or 8 percent body fat for a male to what the Internet would call 5 to 6 percent body fat mm -hmm. for a male. It feels substantially different. Yeah. Um, um, when I was on a refeed day in March or early April, I almost felt like off-season normal levels. I wasn't food focused. I was fine. Those nights I would sleep better. Um, but so, certain things just would not get fixed no matter how high I brought my food up. 
um, until honestly a couple months post show, post final show. We're talking like in, like no, November, December is when I felt approaching normal again. Um, so yeah, I brought my food all the way up, and uh, I was still couldn't sleep for the night. Still had pretty much no libido, and um, my strength started to dip after holding steady and even increasing early in prep sometime in uh, mid mid July. My strength started to drop off just a little bit. Even with the increase in calories. Oh yeah. Yep. That's interesting. Did you notice an initial boost in strength when you went from like the 1600 average going up or did it just kind of maintain and then eventually start dropping? No, I noticed more that the workouts just were not as hard. I didn't feel like I had slogged through them. I didn't yeah. have to cut volume as much. Um, I didn't feel like I needed deloads as frequently. Okay. 